Yo, what's good, y'all? It's clean. Back with another video. You um, and you and five first round went down yesterday, and I'm making this in the middle of the night. Wait, wait what time is it? five o'clock in the morning? Because I've been thinking about this. It. I don't want URL to mess up this event. These streams, that whole. The event was supposed to start at first of all. Let me get into my gripes before I even start talking about the battle. The event was supposed to start at three, maybe three thirty. You know the pre the pre show lasts about thirty minutes. The event didn't start till five thirty Eastern time. They saying that that the power went out in the building. The power went out in the building like three separate times. You had laggy moments in some of the battles. Can't get the full effect. Like, uh, I probably missed Shuni's second round. They saying that was the best round of the whole battle, even though she lost that battle. I missed Shuni's second round. And the JCO Red, the third round was kind of weird because the battle was over, but you still heard rapping. It's crazy. I don't want them to mess up this event because I'm not going to lie. None, none. And she set the tone for me. I feel like both of them guys, I feel like none of them was rapping and she, he was in his performance bag heavy. I just want to say, you're real. We got to do better. We talking about y'all been on caffeine for two years now. Either they don't respect the fan base of battle rap. That's why you get all these people in the stream and then the stream starts lagging, starts freezing and you start missing bars. And then we got to wait two, three weeks to see the battle on the app because we app game, but you don't want us to bootleg. So something got to change. Either you got to give us the battles faster on the app or y'all going to have to do something to, to stabilize these streams. Now, let me get into the judges first. The judges were, it was Calico, it was John John, it was Quest McCody, and it was Polo from uh, Black Compass Media. Shout out to Black Compass. I'm not going to lie. After the first battle, I kind of like that, that we had two judges in the building and two judges on Zoom. But I feel after watching the whole first round, I think all the judges need to be on Zoom. First of all, it's too many distractions on stage. If, you want st if you're a judge on stage, it's too many things going on. It's people smoking. It's people talking. People tapping on you. It's the crowd going crazy. It's the battlers talking back and forth. It's too much going on on stage. And you right there next to the battlers. I feel like y'all need to be on Zoom or y'all need to be somewhere else in the back. Y'all don't need to be on stage. A lot of people felt us, let's start with the first battle. It was none, none, she happened. A lot of people feel like none, none got robbed 2 1. But if I'm being totally honest with you, none, none was rapping his, his butt off, but I prefer Sheed's performance. And some of the some of the stuff he was saying, I was like, what? What? Now. Now, none that had some crazy rebuttals in the second was, was, was took the top off the building, man. This shit was going crazy. It was going crazy. And I, I ain't going to lie. I was entertained by that battle. I was very entertained with that battle. But on my bracket, I had She Happens Wins. That was supposed to be my uh, bracket buster right there. I figured a lot of people was going to – I figured 90% of the uh, battle rap community was, was going to have none that winning that battle. Just on the fact that – None, none just beat she two months ago on band. Clearly. So if if it went to the fan vote, like I said, Cal gave it to she, John John gave it to she, Quest McCody gave it to she. The only one that didn't give it to she was Polo. Now had had it went to the fan vote, the fan vote had none of them winning by like 85% of the vote. But I say this all the time. 
that battle rap is a preference sport, man. As much as y'all try to get down to the nitty gritty of who wins and who loses, unless it's a judged event, we don't necessarily know who won or lost. Now, we can speculate. We can have our opinion. We can feel strongly one way or the other, but it's all opinionated. So all these arguments that we have, oh, who, oh, he lost, man, he died, da, 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 da. I mean, I do the same thing. I do the same thing, but let's be clear. All of this stuff is objective. And how you feel and what material you like. Some people like the pens. Some people like the performance. Some people like the jokes. Some people like the, the gangster shit. It all depends on what you like. To be honest with you, it's like any other genre of music. Me, everybody know I like the gangster and I like the bully rap. I like that bully rap. I like that big bully rap. <laughs> then we go to JC and O Red. Now, I'm not going to cap on this show, man. I'm a huge O Red fan. Been an O Red fan for years. Even though this was the third time they was battling, I was super excited to see O-Red. O-Red look good. When you hear that voice, y'all like, y'all talk trash about his voice. But it's, it's unique. It's different. Nobody sounds like O-Red. Nobody sounds like O-Red. And I feel like O-Red was really good. Matter of fact, he was so good that I feel like he might have edged the first and he edged the third. And I gave the second to JC clearly. But I can go either way on that on that third round. I can go either way. I can get that to sometimes I listen to it twice. Sometimes I give it to JC, sometimes I give it to uh O'Red. But the fact that it was so close by the judges until we got to Polo, and Polo said it was a 30. He said, JC asked every round. There's no way you, you watched that and thought that that was a 30. I know, I know JC is elite, but he doesn't impress me. I know it's crazy, like an oxymoron. He's great, but he doesn't impress me. That's why he won't win this tournament. Because he's going to run into one of these guys with the star power, with the charisma, and sorry, it's over for JC. He he kind of skated by on this round. He would have been devastated. He would have been talking so crazy on the post, post interviews if he would have lost. He would have swear up and down it was set up, even though we ain't seen Old Red in I don't know how long. He would have swear up and down it was set up for Old Red. A lot of you battlers in these other brackets dodged a bullet by not having to see O-Red. Because I feel like each round, O-Red would have got stronger. Because we ain't seen O-Red in a minute. So they had, so JC won that battle, but I had O-Red winning that battle. So this kind of broke my, my bracket because I had, she went in on the, <coughs> and I had, O-Red beating JC. It was over for then. And then, and then we get to the Shuni and Head Ice battle. And, and I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I bet on Shuni. I don't know why I did that because I want my, you know, check out the uh, Clean and KB show. I'm talking to KB. He's a big Shuni. He's talking about Shuni's top five all time, top five all time. And I keep saying, I don't know. I don't believe it. I don't believe it because she does too many stumbles in the battles that matter for her. The battles where she get the most eyes on her, she doesn't do well. So That was when the, uh, the power had cut off. And I, I tried to shoot her a little bell. But, like, I, I was texting KB while this was going on. When the power hours went out, and mind you, she had already she already messed up in her first round. Why why didn't you get that straight? Because then she messed up again in her third round when the power came back on. The power didn't come back on for another forty minutes after the first round. So you telling me you're not in your phone or whatever? You're not getting with your team and you're not getting your bars together for the rest of this battle? 
To be honest with you, with that 40 minute break, your rest of your round should have been immaculate. No stumbles all the way through. You should have got it. I don't know what's going on. Like the judge said, you know, like uh, Polo said, she's having a great year. She is. She's having a great year. But the battles where the most eyes are on her, she does not perform. And then when she stumbles, you can tell she's she her energy is gone. She's down on herself. Her head is down. Her eyes look like they're watering up. Her confidence is gone. So it's not like she's stumbling and she getting it back up and she keeping her energy there. And and I tell you, that's the difference between the vets and some of the younger. She's not even. She's a vet. I'm not even gonna say that, but Head Ice is a super vet. He did some super vet things in that battle. Little, like little, little, little things that that battle rappers do. Little, not even bars. They're just defense. And when he stumbled in the third, he got it back, and he had the same head ice energy. That's what hap- What needs to happen with Shuni. Shuni, okay, okay, you you might forgot a line. Excuse me. But you can't let that sink your energy for the rest of the battle because it's all over your face. It's all over your face. That's the same thing I've been saying about Yoshi. When Yoshi messes up on the big stage, you can see all the energy leaving her body. It's clear as day on cam. So Shuni lost that 2-1. Apparently, I didn't see the second round. I just saw her first and I saw her third. Way they cut the when the power, when the thing cut back on, I felt like she was almost over with her second round. So <clears throat> they they said, and all the judges agreed that was the best round of the battle, but she lost the first and third. She stopped rapping early in the third. She uh stumbled, stumbled a lot in the first. And due to the, the time constraints, uh, the power being out, we didn't even get Geechee Gotti True Folk. What we supposed to get on Sunday, on the second, on day two of the call, we supposed to get Geechee Gotti True Folk first. And then go into the second uh, second part of the bracket, which is Real Sick, Stumbles, Fonz, Prestavia, Shotgun, and Swamp, and Rum, Rum Nitty, and Real Name Brandon. When I watched it, when the when the event finally started and we got none and she happens, I thought this was gonna be smooth. That was a good battle to start things off with, even though they they tailed off in their thirds, but it was a strong battle to get things kicked off. <sighs> man, I don't want to hold y'all too long. You man, you know, you know how I get man. I wake up in the middle of the night, man. I get on these rants, man. Just... <laughs> battle rap should not be on my mind like this, but. <laughs> But it is, it is. But salute to all my sub, my subs, man. Friend of the show. Make sure y'all hit that like. If you ain't subscribing, go ahead and hit that sub, man. We drop a contact two, three times a week. You know? So make sure you like, subscribe, share. You know, we be back for uh, after day two. I'm going to come back with another one. I might do a cleaning KB episode on that one, but we're gonna get we're gonna do a deep dive on what's really going on. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who had that bar. Was it uh, was it none none when he said, <laughs> I'm "Tired of taking, it, tired of watching it. L's like, like Lou Castro." I don't know. He said, "Hey, it was it was a Lou Castro dirt." I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, Red, we need to see more of you, my dude. Welcome back. I am out clean.